What's up, everybody? Troy Devlin here. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Uh, today on a mindful approach to fitness, we're going to be talking about the health triangle. <laughs> That's just what I call it. All right. This is something that I 100% made up. There are other schools of thought out there. I am not an expert by any means. But, um, you know, uh, people ask me sometimes uh, how I approach health and wellness. And um, people will ask me, for example, like, oh, well, do you do CrossFit? And I'm like, no. And they're like, well, do you do Zumba? And I'm like, well, no. And um, so they're like, well, what do you do? And uh, I employ a mindfulness approach to fitness. And so in this video, I thought we could talk about what that means, if you'd like. And um, I've created this uh, interesting diagram to try to help me explain it. So let's talk about a mindful approach to mindset. All right. If we think about mindfulness and what that means, it, or I think about what it means to me, I think like uh, what you direct your attention to. And so can you direct your attention to your mind? Can you notice your thoughts? I feel like you can. And so we could allow ourselves to do that, notice our thoughts, and maybe even um, watch our thoughts, right? Notice them, but also make sure that we're thinking the right things. We're telling ourselves the right things. The story we tell ourselves is very important, especially when it comes to our health and wellness. So we want to make sure that we're telling ourselves that we are the type of person that does the type of things that are going to support our goals. And um, as far as mindset, I would never tell anyone what to think. But uh, I'll share an experience that I've found helpful myself. Whenever I've had to do certain hard things, I have found that it helps to approach with a mindset of curiosity and gratitude. So if I can explain, um, I'm a hiker. I love to climb up uh, to the top of a hill, of a mountain. Sometimes it's hard. It's often hard. The bigger the mountain, the harder it is. Sometimes it has sucked. And I've thought to myself, like, I'm never doing this again. I often think on the big mountains every time, halfway up, I think to myself, I'm never doing this again. And, um, but, you know, I, but thank God I make it to the top and I made it back to make this video. And, um, and what gets me to the top through that, because it is, it can be hard, is uh, I think to myself always like, man, what does it look like just up there? I wonder what it looks like just up around the corner. I wonder what it looks like up top. Man, I just... I wonder. So that curiosity and that curiosity mindset helps me kind of push through and keep going through something that's hard and a slog. And um, gratitude. So let's say we're back on the side of the hill again, and it's been tough so far. But we can think to ourselves, you know, we've made it halfway up, right? And there's probably a lot of people that are not so fortunate to be able to do that. So, man, we're thankful for that. And, like, we're thankful for the things we've experienced so far, like, this far. Man, isn't this great? Wow, it's pretty amazing that my body could get me up here. Hmm. So, um, like I said, I'm not telling you how to think. But I feel like approaching things with a, with a mindset of uh, curiosity and gratitude can be helpful from a mindset perspective. So, let's talk about nutrition because I feel like nutrition believe it or not, is more important than exercise. It's, it's, um, it's something that is, again, just my opinion, but I feel like in fitness, what's most important is what you do most of the time, right? And what you eat. When you eat some food, it stays in your system for quite some time and affects you for a few days after. So um, let's talk about nutrition and a mindful approach. How do you do that? How Can you direct your attention to what you're eating? Can you ask yourself, why am I eating this? Can you ask yourself, what am I eating? And there's an educational component there as well. And that's where I come in as a coach. And I love to educate people on macronutrients and stuff. I, I invite you to find out what that is so that you know what you're eating. But um, so if I think to myself, like, what am I eating here? What do I want to eat? Then I also will think to myself, why? Why am I eating? The answer to that question should be because I'm trying to fuel my body. Let's say I have to climb up a mountain. I think to myself, well, you know, what am I going to eat then? I would eat an apple. Why? Because I need fuel and sugar to get my big self up that mountain. And an apple can get your body up the mountain because it's great fuel. But 
Let's say I was going to be sitting at the desk. I'm in the office today. I know I'll be here all day on Zoom calls. So if I'm eating that apple and I ask myself, why am I eating that apple? And I think to myself, well, because I'm hungry. And then I think to myself, well, but do I really, do I need the apple? Because what I'm going to be doing today is just sitting on Zoom calls. Am I climbing a mountain? No, I'm not sitting on Zoom calls. So do I really need the apple? I'm hungry. Yeah, but is there something else that I could eat that would be less impactful? You don't want to take in a bunch of fuel when you're going to be sitting. So if I ate some nuts or if I ate a small portion of like a lean protein or something like that, that would satisfy the hunger the same. And then I could sit. And um, the key is just to be mindful and ask yourself why. If you're eating something, ask yourself why you're doing it. Make sure the answer to that question is not because you're feeling some type of an emotion. Make sure the answer to that question is not because you're watching TV, because uh, you're driving, or because of some sort of a celebration or holiday. Okay, because that's that's some of the biggest sabotage going, guys. We got to break away from that. So um. So let's get off the nutrition and move on to exercise. And I've been sort of a Debbie Downer so far, but the exercise news is good. Do something that you like, okay? From a mindfulness standpoint, the way that I approach my exercise routine is I think to myself, well, what are my goals? My goals are to maintain my body in such a way that it's strong so that I'm resilient. So every winter when I slip and fall, which this winter I'm walking on the golf course over there and there was a puddle what I thought was a puddle, so I tried to jump over it, and I landed right on it. It was solid ice, like an ice skating rink, and I was like, meow. And so this happens to me every year. And so when I approach my, like, um, sort of, you know, fitness pyramid here from, a, from an exercise standpoint, I think to myself, I'm going to pick exercises that are going to help me be strong so that I'm resilient for life. So that when I slip on the ice and fall, it doesn't put me in the hospital where now I'm in the hospital because I have a, a break and I get sick and I can't do the things that I like to do. My hobby is to walk around the golf course, to go hiking, to, uh, you know, do yard work. And um, so how do I best train for that? Well, I'll tell you, by doing things that you like. You don't have to go too far to the extreme. If your goal is not to be a bodybuilder, there's no reason for you to be out there doing some type of you know, crazy lift where you're risking getting hurt and stuff. Some people just do too much there because they're not trying to be a CrossFit person. They're just trying to have good quality of life, but they go and they train to be CrossFit. That doesn't make sense. Why would you risk the catastrophic injury and just whatever it might not be best for you? Um, walking is great. Oh my gosh, shadow boxing right? Shadow boxing is great. Walking while shadow boxing. Oh my gosh. Any type of twisting, any type of twisting or spinning. Um, I invite you to twist and spin guys. And one of the reasons why is because that's your core that's doing that. And, um, core work, right? Your, your abdominal structure that helps to keep you upright and sort of, um, counterbalances. People have problems with their back in our society. And the, the, uh, Sometimes when you when you have imbalances, that's when you really end up dealing with pain. And I believe that strong abdominal muscles, if you can't do anything else in the day from, from an exercise standpoint, try to just do some abs. Do some sit-ups or some planks, which we'll talk about in other videos. And um, that'll really go a long way as far as uh, maintaining your, your physical being um, on those days when you know you're stuck in a vehicle or, or you have to travel or you just have a long day at work and you can't do any other exercise. But what I will say is if you can walk, right? If you can, if you can build some walking into your day, um, that's a game changer. Because look around and if you go to New York City and look at all those people walking all over down there, the people in New York City look fabulous. It's because they walk everywhere. And the more I walk, the better it helps me aesthetically. I notice that I'm leaner. I feel better, I sleep better. Walking is the jam. But guys, I implore you, do something you like from an exercise standpoint because one of the biggest rookie mistakes out there is people will try hard and they will then die hard. What I mean by that is they go in that gym and they have the personal trainer and they're in there and they're red in the face and they're going at it. And it takes them a long time to recover from that. They're very sore afterwards. It's hard to get that level of motivation all the time to work out like that all the time. 
So I would implore you to not make that mistake. From an exercise standpoint, do something that you like. It really doesn't matter that much what you do as long as you move your body. So it can be yard work, it can be walking. Walking is great, you don't need to do much more than that. Walk and do some abs, throw in some push-ups. You don't need a whole lot more than that, guys. If you like the gym, go there. Do something you like that you can be consistent with, and uh, that's what I would recommend. So guys, again, if you've liked the video, thank you for watching this far. I really appreciate the views. Hit like, subscribe, tell your friends about me, and we'll see you soon.